Hey now, a few weeks ago, I showed you how to make Play-Doh, a really simple basic recipe with basic flour, standard wheat flour. Not everybody can use standard Play-Doh because of the wheat content. If they're allergic to wheat, it's no good. So I have found a new Play-Doh. How about the recipe for gluten-free Play-Doh? Oh, this recipe for gluten-free Play-Doh is very similar to the standard Play-Doh. It has very similar ingredients, except there's no wheat flour. Instead, you're using gluten-free flour. You've still got your salt. This is a half a cup of salt. And this is corn flour that you add to it as well. You've got a tablespoon of cream of tartar and one and a half tablespoons of oil. To give it some colour, some food colouring, and of course you need some water. Now I'm not making a very big mix, it's going to make about a cup, cup and a half of Play-Doh mixture. But you can double it, you can triple it, or you can make lots of little batches and lots of different colours. And quite simply, you put it all in a pot. I'm going to start first with the cup of gluten-free flour. Half a cup of salt. Half a cup of corn flour. The tablespoon of crema tata. And the oil and the water I'm going to add together. I'm also going to add the food colouring at this time. I've tried it before with the food colouring a little bit later and it's not as easy to mix in. So we'll mix it all together now. One big gloopy mess. I'll keep mixing and see if you can get as many of the lumps out as possible. Okay, that'll do. Now we need to add some heat. So how about a little bit of tally magic here? Voila, there we have it. A little bit of heat. Now you don't want the heat too high. And you really need to keep stirring this because it will stick. It's very glue-like. It's starting to thicken straight away. Great. Once it's all coming away from the sides like that, you want to take it from off the heat and let it cool down. And we'll do some more tally magic. And voila. You put it on a plate or a board with a little bit of extra flour. Now make sure it is gluten-free flour or corn flour so that you can just gently knead it once it's cooled down. You may need to add more water if it's too dry or more corn flour if it's too wet. But with a little therapeutic squeezing, squishing and kneading, this is going to make lovely Play-Doh. Look at the colour. Now it does pay, of course, to make sure you've got all the right ingredients, you put them in in the right order, and that you do remember to put them in, because if you don't, well, here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> and I forgot the oil. Yeah, rock hard. Not very good at all. I may even have overcooked it a little bit. But you can see what a nice color it is without the coloring in it. In fact, if you had a white, blue, and green, you could make all kinds of crazy creatures out of it. But yes, beautiful gluten-free Play-Doh. I'll put the recipe up on our website and maybe even add it as an attachment to uh, the YouTube channel. And if you want more information, or if you've got ideas that you want to share with me, head to suzy.co.nz or send me a message on this YouTube channel. See you next time. Remember, if you're enjoying these clips, 
like, subscribe, maybe even share. And we'll have a new guest next week. For more information, head to suzy.co.nz. See ya. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Stuck! <laughs>